In the history of Nigeria's checkered democratic journey in contemporary times, 24 years ago, Atuba engineer Justus Ulugbenga Daniel has recorded many groundbreaking disruptions which have reset and redefined the way politics should be played in these parts to align with the modern trend in advanced democracies of the world. Atuba Gwenga Daniel's journey into Nigeria's politics began as early as his student days when he was the youngest member of the student wing of the Unity Party of Nigeria, led by Chief Obafemi Awolowo. My first incursion into policies indirectly, most people may not know, was even the UPN. And you must have heard stories that, even as a student, I was the youngest member of Chief Awolowo's Committee of Friends at that time. And I know that at the University of Lagos, when the ban on political activities was lifted uh, in 1978 by the outgoing head of state, Tulisha Gombasanjo, I, as president of the Unity Party of Nigeria Student Wing, with a number of other competitors, including the same Tunde Bakari, who was my secretary, uh, no, Tunde was my vice, uh, Ifeidele was the secretary, we were the one who first brought Chivaholowo to the Faculty of Engineering, Faculty of Education, Lecture Theatre, and that was his first political outing, even as a student. So, we had come to the conclusion that the way to go is what's called democratic socialism. During the struggle against the General Sanya Bacha military junta and campaign for the reinstatement of the annual June 12 election, won by Chief M.K. Wabiola, GCFR, Otuba Gbenga Daniel was one of the financiers of the National Democratic Coalition Movement, NADECO, that fought gallantly for the restoration of democracy and enthronement of Nigeria's Fourth Republic at the risk to his life. Otuba engineer Justus Ulugbenga Daniel came into Nigeria's politics well prepared from all aspects, with a very rich pedigree in terms of antecedents and the right connections in places that matter. Otto Magbenga Daniel is president of the Nigeria Finnish Business Council, a failure of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, a failure of the Nigerian Academy of Engineering, and a failure of the Institute of Directors. He is the chairman and founder of Crystal Lawrence Limited, an engineering firm that specializes in elevators, overhead traveling cranes, and KLL Construction Company Limited with thousands of Nigerians and non-Nigerians alike in its employment. Reference must be made here that Otunga Benga Daniel holds the record of the first African to rise to the position of Deputy Managing Director of H.S. Schrauder, West Africa Limited, a multinational company from which he resigned in 1990 to set up his company before he forayed into Nigerian politics as Governor of Ogun State. From the very beginning, Otuma Gbenga Daniel ignited a revolution during his campaign for the governorship race of Ogun State in 2003 as he visited all the 236 wards with music and drumming. And this set a new template for campaign for political office in Nigeria today. Otuma Gbenga Daniel's new, exciting, all-inclusive way of campaigning for political office resonated loudly with all Ogun State indigents, young and old. And through this, Otuma Gbenga Daniel was able to win the hearts of Ogun State indigents. And this resulted in a landslide victory in the 2003 elections, defeating a sitting governor, Chief Olusegun Oshoba, with what remains till today the widest margin ever in Ogun State governorship election. Otuma Gbenga Daniel was re-elected for a second term in office in 2007, ending his glorious tour of duty as the governor of Ogun State in 2011. With a very effective and efficiently administered public-private partnership business model run during the two terms in office of Otuma Gbenga Daniel administration, Ogun State was completely transformed from a civil service state to a state where businesses of different types sprang up providing a lot of employment for indigents of the state and giving a boost never seen before to the internally generated revenue base of Ogun State. 
As for achievements in infrastructural development during OGD's administration, roads and bridges were constructed in all parts of the state, while new stadia were built in the three senatorial zones, and the MKO Abiola International Stadium was refurbished. In fact, the FIFA Under-17 World Cup competition held in Nigeria was hosted at the Gateway International Stadium, Ijebode, under the able coordination of Governor Benga Daniel. Governor Benga Daniel authorized the reduction of fees at the state-owned Moshud Abiola Polytechnic to make it easy for parents to educate their wards. The Ogun State Agrocargo Airport in the Lishan Remo, designed as an air cargo port to offer direct export of agricultural products from the southwest of Nigeria to all parts of the world, was initiated by Governor Benga Daniel. The airport was also envisioned to be involved in international flights originating from Ogun State. To set the right template for the industrialization of Ogun State, Governor Gbenga Daniel established free trade zones in each of the senatorial districts of Ogun State. These include the Ogun State Guangdong Free Trade Zone in Igbesa, Adodo, Olokola Free Trade Zone, and Olokola Deep Sea Port and Kajola Free Trade Zone in Ifo Ogun State. The only university of education in Nigeria today was established during the tenure of Governor Gbenga Daniel. Otuma Gbenga Daniel indeed made a distinct mark as a professional in politics, joining forces with like minds to raise the level of politics as is practiced in Nigeria today. After taking a well-deserved break from active politics, Otuma engineer Justice Ulugbenga Daniel who has all along been a strong proponent of progressive politics, formally joined the All Progressive Congress, APC. I've done my bit in PDP. I've used that vehicle to do what I had to do. I have no regret because we opened the states and everybody agrees to a large extent that we laid good foundations that we can be proud of. Okay? Now, going forward, I then feel that Probably it's a lot better for me as I get close to retirement, you know, to go to what we call my natural habitat. And that is precisely uh, what I have done. The next political move of Otumba Gwenga Daniel was a formal declaration of intention to contest as a senator to represent Ogun East Senatorial District in the 2023 election. It bears further elucidation here that the late mother of Otumba Gwenga Daniel Madam Olaito Daniel was from Omui Jebu, while his late father, Most Reverend Adebola Daniel, was from Makung Shagamu, Ogun State, through which he contested for the governorship election in 2003. Characteristically not known to take things for granted and always very proactive, Otumagwinga Daniel quickly set in motion a very well structured campaign team that took the OGD tested and trusted message through the nukes and crannies of Ijebu East Senatorial District of Ogun State. Oko taba fè xe afikawa bere ni bi. E de mò wikwe bi kin xe ale jo. O mò bi bi jè bò de ni mi. Ni tori nò e ti a fè xe yi. E ta fè xe yi. Bò xe wà ni jè bù. Lò wà ni o mù. Lò wà ni rè mò lò wà kakiri. Senator Tanso, Senator Gogo Wani, Tia Bade Roti, Ah, ni de la Tima Shalaye, Ni Bata Ni Anfani, O ni Kota Agbe She, Ni Akile Jebumbi, A She Abe A She, Stadio Wa, A She Abe A She, Ta Shonari University of Korea, A She Abe A She, I Jebu Ibo Pondete, A She Abe A She, Ni Tori Nongko, A Wala Ni, In Koto Wa, Ni Tayi, and this attracted a very huge attendance of supporters of the OGD, the candidate, amidst singing and dancing.
from Omu Ijebu, where Otumba Gwenga Daniel's senatorial campaign was launched to Shagamu, Odogbolu, and other places. His unequivocal message was his readiness to work for the entrenchment of local government autonomy and other measures that will improve the well-being of Ijebu East Senatorial District indigents, Ogun State indigents, and Nigerians in general. The move to go to Abuja is just for one or two or three reasons. It is not an executive position. It is a legislative position. And one of the things that I have seen going around this local government is that there is lack of enough resources at the local government. And that is why one of the main things that I intend to go and fight for is what you can call the local government financial autonomy. This is because without a functioning and well-empowered local government, people at the grassroots will not get to get what we can call the dividends of democracy. And in going to Abuja, I'm going to rely heavily on some of my predecessors who have been there. And that is why I'm happy Alaji Adigbe Gakaka is standing here with me. When we look at this area, there are so many federal government projects, roads, some have been started, they have not been concluded. And part of what I'm going to go and fight for is to push the federal government to pay more attention to this local government. We are now appealing, and that is part of what I'm going to try to do if I get to Abuja, Abuja to get the federal government to take interest and support the free village. Maybe you don't know, the biggest thing that is pushing American economy is Hollywood. The biggest thing that is pushing Indian economy is Bollywood. Now we have Nollywood and they are doing very, very well. So all this problem of unemployment that we have, we can make use of the inherent talents we have in Ogun State. And part of what we will do in Abuja is to push the federal government to come and support the emancipation of the fifth village that we already have in Osasa, in the local government. Ogun Waterside local government is the location of the wealth of Ogun State and of the wealth of Yoruba land. While I was governor, we have started the foundation of where we want this local government to go to. This is the location of the Olokula Free Trade Zone. This is the location of the most viable deep sea port in Africa. This is the location of where we have put Gateway Industrial and Petrochemical Training Institute. All of these things are within this local government. And I just want to appeal to the federal government now and in the future to take a second look at Ogu Waterside local government. We have a number of roads in Nigeria that are not tarred. And tarring roads have become a big problem. But we've all forgotten that bitumen is no more than six feet from the ground in Ogu Waterside. So I'm calling on the federal government today and tomorrow over the side and begin to explore the possibilities of this location. I have no doubt that in the near future, in my presence and in the presence of my children, Ogun State Waterside local government will become number one in terms of employment generation. Not a lot to say today. In the last one week, we have been in this local government. We have told all the nooks and crannies of this local government. We have been to each and every of the 10 wards in this local government. So we know what is happening here. We understand the condition of the roads, which is a big challenge. And I want to assure you, we will let the powers that be know, and I'm sure that something will be done very, very soon. <laughs> Oh yeah, today is the governor. We finish. I feel like she needs Abuja. She won't want the donor. We pay senator at the president at the governor. One at the judge shepo. I be going here. It's only now come. We fell on here. We take fair deal. Give she a bow. Jidi, we call it fair deal. See, ever the bow jidi. 
ti a ba tun de abuja lohun ni bila lohun ta de ta ba ba so yoruba be ije o do na ko lo lo fe bo si nitori na ko o se pataki ka tun di bo tani o tani o but it is very very she mo ruku won so pe e gbe kini wa e gbe kini o wa one of the things that is also important, which I must let you know, because today here we have a number of physically challenged people. As you know, in the last 25 years or so, I have been supporting physically challenged people, providing them which he has doing all sorts of things. But there is a physical challenge bill that we have to go and push. With this bill, there will be adequate provision for people who are physically challenged. Oh, oh, when you use water, water like power. Oh. 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 Therefore, the resounding and very convincing victory of Otumba Gwenga Daniel during the 2023 Ogun East Senatorial District election did not come to anyone as a surprise, but as a result for hard work and proper planning and the implicit confidence reposed in him by Ogun State Indigents. They are all convinced that Otumba Gwenga Daniel has the capacity and ability to represent them because he's been tested and trusted over the years. As Otumba engineer Justus Olugwenga Daniel steps forward on Tuesday, 13 June 2023, to be sworn in as the distinguished senator representing Ogun East Senatorial District of Ogun State, Biscan Communications joins the rest of his supporters at home and abroad to wish him a very successful tenure. Love you, love you, love you, love you.